App Master Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use App Master. App Master is a no-code platform that takes business automation and native app development to new heights. With App Master, you can automate your business processes and effortlessly build stunning web and mobile apps, all without the need for coding expertise. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basics of App Master, showing you how to create your own projects and craft impressive mobile applications without writing a single line of code. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using App Master, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, locate and click on the prominent Get Started button. This will redirect you to the registration page where you can start the account creation process. On the registration page, you'll find various options to sign up for a new account. You can choose to use your existing Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn account, or sign up with your email address. Select the option that aligns with your preferences and proceed accordingly. After completing the sign-up process, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enable two-factor authentication. This additional security measure ensures the protection of your account. Enter your mobile number and click on the Send Code button to proceed. To verify your phone number, App Master will send you a code. Enter this code into the pop-up window to complete the verification process. This step adds an extra layer of security to your account. Once your phone number is verified, the next step is to personalize your account. Follow the on-screen prompts prompted by App Master to customize your account based on your preferences. This step allows you to tailor your experience within the platform. Upon successfully personalizing your account, you will be directed to your account dashboard. From there, you can explore the various features and functionalities of App Master and begin utilizing its services according to your needs and objectives. Now, let's see how to create a project in App Master. To create a project in App Master, you can follow these simple steps. First, navigate to the All Projects tab and click on it. This will take you to a page where you can view all the projects you have created. On this page, you will also find the option to create a new project. To create a new project, you have two options. You can either click on the Create Project button located at the top right corner of the page, or you can click on the plus icon representing the blank project button at the center of the page. Choose either of these options and a pop-up window will appear. In the pop-up window, start by entering the name of your project in the designated Project Name field. Once you have entered the name, you can provide some additional details about your project in the Description field. Take your time to describe the purpose or scope of your project accurately. After entering the necessary information, click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. In the next step, you will be prompted to choose a plan for your project. App Master offers different plans, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we will focus on the basic plan, which is free of charge. Select the Learn and Explore option and then click on the Next button to move forward. After providing the project details, you will need to choose a team for your project. This step involves selecting the individuals or members who will be involved in the project. Take your time to carefully choose the appropriate team members based on their roles and responsibilities. Once you have selected the team, click on the Next button to proceed to the final step. In the final step of creating a project in App Master, you will need to choose the billing period that suits your requirements. This step allows you to select the duration for which you want to avail the services of App Master. Additionally, if you have a promotional code, you can enter it at this stage to enjoy any available discounts. Furthermore, you will have the option to add a payment method to finalize the billing process. Once you have completed these steps, click on the Create Project button to officially create your project. Upon successfully creating a project, you can easily access and manage it by going to the All Projects tab conveniently located in the left menu of the App Master interface. Simply click on the All Projects tab and a list of all your created projects will be displayed. To access a specific project, click on its name. When you navigate to your project, you will be directed to its dedicated workspace within App Master. Here you will find a range of options and functionalities to enhance your project's development and management. You can create modules, build the backend infrastructure, develop web applications, mobile applications, and much more. The flexibility and versatility of App Master allows you to tailor your project to your specific needs and requirements. Now, let's see how to create a mobile application in App Master. To create a mobile application in App Master, follow these simple steps. Firstly, click on the All Projects tab, which can be found in the main navigation menu. From there, select the project in which you wish to build your mobile application. This action will direct you to the specific project workspace, where you will find options for creating various components, including mobile applications. 
Now, click on the Mobile tab located in the left menu. This action will take you to the dedicated page for managing mobile applications within the project. To create a new mobile application, click on the plus create application button located at the center of the page. As you click on this button, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to install the mobile applications module. It is necessary to install this module to proceed with the creation of mobile applications. So click on the install now button within the pop-up window to install the module first. It will take a while to install the module. Once the mobile applications module has been successfully installed, a new pop-up window will appear, allowing you to begin the process of creating your mobile application. This window is divided into three steps, general, layout, and branding. In the general step, you will begin by selecting the target platform for your application, whether it is Apple iOS, Android, or a multi-platform application. Next, you will need to enter the desired name for your application in the designated app name field and provide relevant details in the description field. Additionally, you have the option to upload files by clicking on the Upload button if necessary. Once you have entered the required information, click on Next to proceed to the next step, which is the Layout step. Within the Layout step, you will be prompted to choose the type of navigation and layout for your mobile application. AppMaster provides several options, including blank, bottom nav, and a slide-out menu, Select the layout that best suits your application's requirements. Once you have made your selection, click on Next to proceed to the final step, which is the Branding step. In the Branding step, you will have the opportunity to define the visual branding elements for your mobile application. This includes choosing a set of color styles that align with your application's design and branding guidelines. Take your time to select the desired color scheme. Once you have made your choices, click on the Create button to finalize the creation process. Upon clicking the Create button, you will be directed to the App Master Studio where you can begin building your mobile application. Once you have entered the App Master Studio, you will notice three main sections available for your app development. The first section is the left sidebar, which allows you to manage and organize the screens of your app, such as the Home screen, Sign Up screen, Sign In screen, and more. You also have the option to add new screens as needed. Additionally, within the left sidebar, you can manage various components. By clicking on the Components tab, you will have access to a wide range of element types, widgets, and shapes that can be incorporated into your app's design. The second section of the App Master Studio is the main section, located in the center of the interface. This is where you can edit and design your app. Utilize the tools and features provided in this area to create the desired visual layout, incorporate functionality, and customize overall user experience of your application. The third section is the right sidebar, which contains settings and workflow options corresponding to the selections made in the left menu. For example, if you click on the home screen in the left sidebar, the right sidebar will display the specific settings for the home screen. In this section, you can manage and customize various aspects of the selected screen, such as its position in the navigation list, its name, appearance, and background. If you have designed your application and wish to save your progress for future customization, you can click on the Save Application button located above the right sidebar. This ensures that your work is securely saved and can be accessed later for further modifications. To preview how your applications look and functions, click on the Preview option located at the top right side of the studio. This allows you to test your app's user interface and interactions before proceeding with the final publishing. If you are satisfied with your application's design and functionality, you can publish it by clicking on the Publish button located at the top right side of the studio. Upon clicking this button, you will be presented with two options, Development and Custom Deploy. Choosing the Development option will initiate the publishing process and your application will be made available after a short period of time, allowing you to test it and further refine it. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using AppMaster. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. There are more things to learn about AppMaster, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.